Hey YouTube, Tire Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So in this one, we're going to be taking a look at what fall could look like. This is a first look at fall. Of course, given uh, other parameters such as severe weather, tropics, we may uh, do a follow-up video on this. But as of right now, this is going to be the first of hopefully several videos. That being said, make sure you're hitting that like button, smashing that subscribe button, hitting that share button as well. Because it uh, seems like from the looks of things, fall heading into winter might be pretty active as well. So looking at the seasonal temperature outlook, this is looking at a uh, three-month average overall here. Interestingly enough, it looks like the southwest still looks like it's going to be above average as well as Alaska. And then also the Northeast is going to be climbing back into above average territory here. Thing about this is, like I said, we're looking at a 90 day period. So one thing to make note of is the fact that not every day or even every month could be like this. It could take one exceptionally uh, hot month to make the temperatures look like how it looks in this three month outlook here. So take this with a grain of salt for sure. I say that on the monthly outlooks alone. But yeah, if I'm doing a seasonal outlook in particular, definitely take this with a grain of salt. This is very much prone to changing here. There is equal chance of precipitation here towards the Midwest here. However, like I said, could be a similar deal here. We could easily see this change over to above or below average precip here. So you see that this was issued on August 17th normally we'll start to see an update right around the end of the month so like i said more than likely we'll try and do a follow-up video but this of course depends on how severe weather in the tropics play out looking at the precipitation here over the three month period it looks like uh, alaska gets back into the action here northwest actually starts to become a little bit more dry this has kind of been the trend over the summer here as well so that's not too surprising and uh, surprisingly, with the way the heat dome is set up, it looks like we could see some below average precip here towards Arizona and New Mexico here. It is a slight surprise because of the fact that we're this is their monsoon season. We're expecting a lot more moisture than what we're getting right now. A large part of that is due to the heat dome and the ridge that has been set in place here. This has also been a trend up here towards the Great Lakes and the UP where we've seen below average precip not a high chance of it occurring it's only 33 to 40 percent but uh, like i said most of the activity it looks like it's going to be over towards the southeast over towards alaska and everywhere else in the uh, blank area has equal chance so you could see either or just like with the temperature map here the uh, seasonal precipitation also can be uh, blown out of the water remember it's also hurricane season so any sort of land falling systems can have a great deal of impact on how this ends up turning out. So definitely need to be keeping an eye on that as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a look at just how uh, great of a contrast or how great of a departure we are from average as far as temperatures are concerned, as well as moisture. Like I said, a lot of things can change with this uh, map here. So take this with a grain of salt. But this is us already looking at September here. Based off what I'm seeing off model data here, it looks like we have mostly above average temperatures towards the Southwest, towards Texas in particular as well. Other than that, we're either just barely above average or maybe about 10 degrees above average or we're at an equal chance of precipitation. There's one area right here where we're slightly below average and that's right on the uh, Montana Wyoming line here and as we go into the following month we start to get above average as a whole for the entire country as we look into October I've seen some inklings of this on a couple of other models here but of course with us looking this far out date is a little bit more limited and then as we look into November it's a pretty similar deal right now but of course this far out we're looking it's pretty much just like October data is limited confidence in the next couple of months isn't super high like i said follow-up videos on this are likely so that being said stay tuned for those as far as the temp the uh, precip actually i was about to call it temperature as far as the precipitation is concerned take this with a grain of salt but 
you can see the amount of activity increasing here towards the Midwest, Ohio, and Tennessee valleys here. As far as next month is concerned, we aren't far away from September, so I can say with a little bit more confidence that this seems likely. But as we get into October is where things get a little bit more interesting. This is when we start to see that increase in precip for the south here. Everywhere else is actually looking surprisingly right around average, slightly above or below. Not too much in the way of variance here. Northwest looks like it's a little bit below average on precip based off this map. And then as we get into November, looks like we do see a little bit of a decrease in moisture towards the southeast, not by a great contrast. So it doesn't mean that every day in the month of November is going to be dry from the looks of it. It might be just slightly below average. So plenty of showers and storms are still possible to go around. If anywhere is going to be dry, it looks like it's going to be more so towards the northwest. So with the lack of information that I still have at the moment as far as what the pattern looks like for these uh, next couple of months beyond September, we'll just have to follow up like I said before. But by this point, the September outlook's already up. So take a look at that if you want to learn more about what to potentially expect for that month. And then, of course, like I said, follow up is coming soon after. But it's the end of this video. If you found it useful, you know what to do. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, decimate that share button as well. But this is Tire Metalhead Weatherman. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a nice day, nice evening, whatever time you decide to watch this video.